everybody. This is Becky Legiro for CoinGeek.com. I am here with Lily Dows, who is the conference chair for the London Blockchain Conference. And I've had an amazing time chatting with Lily in the mornings, in the makeup room, every day. It's been my highlight. So it's really cool to have you here with me here today. We're at a Women in Blockchain event. Tell me about the vibe that's happening here. How is it feeling to be around all of these women in the wonderful blockchain space? Well, Becky, it's amazing to like, meet you here. I've had so much fun. I really think like the energy here is just very much being open and allowing everyone to have their own opinion. I think that's why it's so important to get more women in blockchain is that we need to see things from different perspectives. And I think if we just see it being one dimensional, it's never going to work. So we need to get more women involved. We need to realize there is that feminine touch. There is that different of opinion. And if we want to reach the masses, okay, okay. Well, I don't know the exact statistics, but 15% of the population, right, is women. We, we gotta say, we gotta say approximately <laughs> half, half. So if we're not including women, we are missing out on a huge part of the population that we need to reach. And, and it is difficult because women aren't always pro risk. We find it hard to get involved in industries that are a bit more risky. We like to keep things as we know it. We don't want to push ourselves outside our comfort zone. And I think we can try and bring more women into the industry and show them that you don't need a specific degree. I think we've seen that tonight with so many amazing women. You don't need to have a special background. You just need to believe in technology, believe in change, and really just want to see a different future. And I think we've seen that gradually. You know, we're getting more women in industry. But as a new industry, we're doing things the right way. And the right way is having equal amounts of men and women. And these sort of events are promoting that. It's amazing. Also, I think people like you who are really in the public eye are really helping with this. Because other women that see you up on stage, they see your Instagram. They're like, you know what? I can do this. And I think you actually have a degree in chemistry. And you, <laughs> which we learned in the makeup room, by the way. And so this, you somehow got your ball of blush and you found it exciting. And here you are. So tell me about your experience actually at the London Blockchain Conference. You've been on stage. You've seen a lot of the crowd. Who is there? What are we? How are we doing with women being included with this event? And what's your perspective from the stage there? Honestly, it's it's been amazing. I, I say that I travel the world. I see different jurisdictions, how they operate, how they're embracing blockchain. And for me, I'd never actually worked in London before. I traveled the world where I'd never been at home to see what's happening here. And I was always kind of maybe a bit negative that I see London being quite archaic. I worked in corporate finance after my chemistry degree. So I see it being very male dominated, institutional. I worked in the city. I just saw suits all day. People looking super professional, the banking industries, the lawyers. I didn't really see innovation when I was here before. And now coming back, I really do see that. I see that people are are interested, big people from big corporations. We've had the most amazing attendees. And I think I was going through the list and I think I was saying to my dad, like, these people are all going to be in attendance. And like, when I was working in corporate finance, I never even got access to these titles of people. But that's what we get in this industry. We get to actually showcase our version of innovation and how we think we need to change the world. Like, I turn up in trainers and I'm casual and I'm myself. And that's a beautiful thing is that we all can have an opinion. It's a new industry. Bring your opinion bring your ideas and change the world together. And we're a community. It's not just, you know, people from different businesses. I heard today someone said, oh yeah, they are my competitor, but I'd love to chat with them and see how we can work together. When does that ever happen? Then? When does anyone say, I'm going to chat to my competitor and see if together we can build something better. That would never happen. You're never going to have any other industry. You're not going to have ASOS talking to pretty little things saying, Maybe if we had a conversation, we can make a better world. Absolutely not. Where it's in culture, that's what we're all about. We want to create this better world that we want to live in. And it, and that's what we're doing. I think London blockchain is a big proof of that. It's diverse. There's a mixture of people. Yeah. And everyone's been so kind, so nice. And that really is important because it makes my job much easier. Yeah, it does. It does. And I can tell you love it because it's just you're so genuine and the excitement is you could feel it. It's great. I know you're excited about the speakers too. You even told me that. Love it. Love it. So what excited you about blockchain in the first place? I know I mentioned that you had a degree in chemistry. You went to finance after. You ended up in blockchain. Why is this industry your place? What do you love so much about it? Well, I think the fact that I do find it very inclusive. I know we've still got a long way to go, but I do think we're really changing that mindset. We're both into fitness and I think 
now I'm seeing a lot of events doing like yoga as part of what they're they're achieving. You can go for walks with people. It's not just about the, the old way of doing it. I really hate that term, that old school, <laughs> but that's kind of how I see other industries and and innovation. For me, being part of something that changes all the time, keeps me on my toes. I want to be challenged. I want people to say to me, oh, well, that's already launched. You said this, you should have said this. I love that. I want to be challenged. And I think Stephen was even saying that today. As uh, human beings, we love being challenged. And that's what this industry gives me. It gives me a challenge. And I see the changes. I see the progression. And I sit there on a daily basis and someone's telling me an issue. And I think, we could either, either use AI, blockchain, yeah. we could we could tokenize. There's something we could do within our industry to make that better. And if you keep on seeing that, it's incredible what we can do. I um, mean, yeah, you introduced Stephen Bartlett. You introduced Scott Galloway. Oh my God. <laughs> it was pretty. Yeah. Cool. yeah. That's on my little list now. Yeah. Like, all the coolest things I've done. That's up there. And you were brilliant. Honestly, Lily, it's been such a pleasure getting to know you during this event. Can't wait to follow all of your work and watch you on stage at other events around the world. Keep it up, and we'll keep in touch for sure. Thank you so much. Of course, we loved it. It's been amazing. And yeah, thank you, London, for having me. Thank you, Becky, for having me here as well. Honestly, this has been amazing. So thank you oh, so much. much. Love it. And thank you guys so much for watching. This is Becky Legiro for CoinGeek.com. Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stable coins, MetaNet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today. But what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Blockchain 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain. BSV is more than another chaotic commodity craze. BSV blockchain can do more than just be a crypto investment. It can help you get more out of your games share more of your art. BSV makes more things possible.